a very good morning to all of you welcome to anb exam forum so in today's session we are going to see statistic in mathematics and the topic will be median and as i told you many times that in this pyq series whatever the questions we are presenting in this particular session are basically from rrb exam because rrb exam has only this chapter okay so without wasting any time let's begin the session and before proceeding you should know the important sub topics in the median first you should know the concept of median what exactly is a median okay why it is used that you should know okay in the pyq series we are not going to discuss the theory portion in this particular session okay but as and when question comes we will try to see the concept okay then you should know how to find the median okay so you have both grouped data ungrouped data and for both grouped and ungrouped data you have different formulas for finding the median okay so when the question come for finding i will tell you the formula at that time okay coming to the first question uh, that is on your screen the question says find the median of the number given below okay so student as i told you earlier that median basically divide the data set into two parts it might not be equal but certainly in two parts okay so the first step in finding the median you should arrange the observations arrange the observation in ascending or descending order okay then only you can uh, divide the data set into two parts okay so let's arrange this element into ascending order you can do in descending but ascending is uh, natural okay so we will make it in ascending order so first minimum observation are 0 0 okay so i will write uh, you can also verify whether i am writing correct 1 1 then 2 is there then 1 2 3 3 3 are there then you have 4 4 then you have 5 5 then 1 6 and 2 7 okay you should do it very carefully and uh, if you uh, do it proper then this question is very simple okay so first step we have covered we have arranged the data into ascending order okay after that you need to count the number of observations so if you count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay. okay so number of observation that is n you have 15 so n can be either even or odd so this is basically what it is an odd number okay for example i'll uh, leave it so say we have five observation 1 2 3 4 5 5 so this is total number of observation are five and uh, all these are some data okay and uh, number of observation are five so if you want to find the midpoint of this particular data set you can easily tell it is three how you have removed two here two here so you have three in between so this is the median of this particular data set so how did you find since n is odd so you have taken what you have taken n plus 1 by 2th observation okay for smaller data set it is okay but if you have large number of uh, values where n is bigger then you you can use this formula okay n plus 1 by 2 so hence here you have n is 5 so 5 plus 1 6 6 divided by 2 3 is the uh median of that formula okay coming to this question you have n is 15 15 is odd so uh, the median will be n plus 1 by 2th observation and n is what 15 15 plus 1 16 so 16 by 2 that is 8th okay so 8th observation will be your median okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
so three will be your median okay so option c is the right answer okay this is for the odd so if you have even then you need to take the mean okay you need to take the mean mean of what mean of two numbers uh, say i have six also so you have not six observation then you cannot take the midpoint okay so these two observation you should take and mean of them will be in between them okay so in that case you have uh, n by mean of n by 2th observation and n by 2th plus 1 observation okay basically in between uh, these two observation okay we'll see in the next question so the following observation are arranged in ascending order so this step is already covered so in median you should arrange the data in ascending order okay coming to the numbers of observation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so n is 10 this time your n is even okay and as i told you in that case your median will be mean of n by 2th observation and n by 2th plus 1 observation what is that let us see so n is 10 so 10 divided by 2 is fifth fifth observation and you can take the next it is sixth so it will be mean of fifth and sixth observation so fifth is what one two three four five so fifth observation is this one six observation is this one so the mean of these two will be the median so median will be mean of this mean of this means what x plus x by 2 x plus 2 divided by 2 and the median they have given is 63 so i will write 63 so just a simple algebra so 63 into 2 is what 126 and 2x plus 2 and 2 goes there so you have 124 so 124 divided by 2 is 62 so option b is the right answer okay it is a very simple concept right let's see the next question okay so this question if you have basic understanding then you can easily give Okay, so 40% is the passing criteria for the examination out of 9 students who appeared, 9, uh, 4 failed and the remaining got this percentage, the median of percentage of mark equal to what? So you have 9 students, let's make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Out of which 4 got failed. Okay, so let's make it in ascending order so four got failed this is the lowest portion so one two three four so these uh, student got failed okay and the remaining you have how many five okay so these are the five remaining observations so let's make them in ascending order so it will start with 52 55 66 80 81 and uh, there are nine observations so nine is what n is odd so in odd as i told you it will be n plus 1 by 2th observation n by n plus 1 by 2th is what 10 10 plus 10 divided by 2 is fifth observation 1 2 3 4 5 so fifth observation is your median okay then median of the percentage is equal to 52% so option C is the right answer let's see the next question it is again theoretical question so the median of four distinct observation seven distinct observation is 21.5 if each of the largest three observation is increased by four then the median is what a very simple one it will remain the same how let us see so you have seven observation one two three four four five six seven so the question says uh, each of the largest three observations let us say they are in ascending order and the largest three will be this and you have increased uh, these observation by four okay so the median of the new set let's see the old set what will be the median so median will be this this observation okay so this will be the median 
okay okay so if you increase this value it doesn't affect if you if you decrease this value it will not affect why because it is all already in ascending order right but for this this before portion it should not cross this uh, this value otherwise medium will be changed okay since 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 observation are there so you will have fourth observation as a median and if you are increasing uh, after that okay the median will remain same okay since your number of observation remain the same and you have already arranged in ascending order then the median will remain same so option b is the right answer let's see the next question this question looks to be very difficult but a very simple one so you have some variable a and in that variable you have uh, some values okay so if you have integer knowledge then you can easily solve so we will arrange this number in ascend, uh, ascending order so ascending order means it will start with the lowest one and out of that i will not write a the lowest one is 3.5 so minus 3.5 then minus 3 then minus 2.5 then minus 2 then minus 0.5 then positive 0.5 then positive 4 then positive 5 okay first count the number of observations so n are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so n is 8 so n is 8 8 means it is even so it will be the mean of 8 8 by 2 8 by uh, 2 is what 4 it will be the mean of 4th and 5th observation mean of 4th and 5th will be what 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 4th and 5th mean will be what 2.5 divided by 2 it will be 1.25 so it will be 1 minus 1.25 will be the correct answer okay I repeat so you, you have observation x minus uh, sorry a minus 2 and a minus 0 0.5 so these are basically your fourth and fifth observation okay so median will be uh, the mean of these two observation so what will uh, be the mean okay you can easily calculate it will become 2a minus 2.5 divided by 2 okay so if you make it 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 comes as uh, 2 2 got cancelled so a minus 2.5 divided by 2 will be 1.25 okay this is the other way so option a is the right answer let's see the next question if an observation uh, 70 is removed from the data what will be the median okay the median will be increased by what okay so let's arrange this data set in ascending order so it is already in ascending order okay uh, so one step is over now count the number of observation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so n is 8 8 is even even means it will be n by 2 that is fourth observation it will be the mean of fourth observation and fifth observation so fourth observation is what 1 2 3 4 fourth 72 and 74 okay and the mean will be in between that that will be 73 so 73 will be the median of the old data set okay so suppose if 70 is removed so this entity is removed so old i am writing old is 73 okay and uh, the new median will be what uh, since the number of observation has decreased so it has come 7 and your median will be what it will be 7 plus 1 divided by 2 that is fourth observation so fourth observation is what 1 2 3 4 74 74 with the, will be the new median so the difference between the median old median and new median is 1 so option D is the right answer 
let's see seen uh, almost 10 questions from this medium and uh, i hope you understood something in this particular session and if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box we will be very happy to answer your questions thank you for watching have a nice day